everybody how's going out there welcome back to my channel welcome back to my tubs around my never-ending finishing tubs around you can see I got my niche going I got everything up from my last videos um, this is what I picked out it's stainless steel and I've got this really cool tile I'm gonna put in the center it's a Celtic tile so it's gonna look really cool um, I cut my profiles and I did that using an aluminum saw and I'll tell you what that thing is overrated it actually, I actually had to like file it down. So <laughs> it was the Diablo 10 inch uh, aluminum, you know, and it maybe just wasn't com compatible with this Schluter thing, but that's aluminum. So anyway, um, I, I would say just go ahead and cut it with 10 snips and then just bend it and it'll just snap clean. Okay, so I just wanted to let you guys know it's freezing here, so I'm not tiling. And I've got my heater on over there just to heat up this room and the sun's finally coming through but no matter what I'm it's like 27 degrees out right now and I just don't feel comfortable with um, setting well, mixing the thin set and having it adhere and having problems that way so but what I did yesterday or yeah yesterday I got my first row of tile down and I am using a ledger yes I am because I didn't feel like making all the cuts you know, this is my low end, so I would have to end up making these cuts, and I just wasn't in the mood. I really just, I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to start that way. Um, there are some spots throughout the walls that are not plumb, and at first I was really worried about that, and then I said, you're just going to have to compensate. You know, they're not, it's not too out of whack, but in the corner right here, if I put the laser level up there, you'll see. It's not square, so let me turn this thing on. Alright, so let's get it in the corner. Alright, so I tried to cheat with it and go, oh, it's okay. I mean, it's not terrible, you know, but it is, it's, I would say that's like an eighth to a quarter out. You know, but it's not, it, it might not even be out. It, and my eyes might be playing tricks on me. No, it's out. <laughs> it's definitely out. You can see right here. That's out. That's freaking out. Up here, that's like a half an inch. Maybe not. Watch this. Look at that gap. Look at that gap. And then I go, well, if I finagle it, because it's touching right here on the ends and as long as it's touching there I know it's not gonna go out like this and I don't really have that far to go so the issue is really just right there and how I'm gonna compensate for that is with thin set and there's a same up here except up here it like it goes out doesn't touch the wall so I'm like do I need to float something there and I'm like no you don't because it's like a quarter of an inch so i just wanted to show you guys that i'll show you the other corner and again it's this one i'm not i'm just not worried about this one so much but again it's just that's pretty good that's like right on man it's right on the money so i believe that it's going to come out great it's going to look beautiful i was really nervous doing this part yesterday because every YouTube channel that you watch, every pro do this, they're like, you only have a half an hour to work with this stuff. And I ended up having more than that. I, I ended up having about an hour. And I took more than what I needed just to do these tiles. And they almost look like they're all the same size. These are 3 by 11 and 7 8 tiles. And so I'm like, what's half of, you know, freaking out. I'm like, what's half of 11 and 7 8 I'm trying to get the mortar mix going and have the buckets here. And I mean, I was pretty crazy just trying to get this done. So, um, but you can see like where I have the yellow clips right there. That's where the tile ends. So I'm going to have, so it's a subway pattern and it's going to look great. All right, you guys, I just want to show you that and say you can do it too. <laughs> if you had to. You can do it. Just make sure, just to save yourself time, energy, and all that, that your walls, your studs are square, plumb, level, 
all of that before you put the board up. And don't worry if there, if it's a little out when you put the board up, everything can be tweaked so that it'll look great. That's why there are these spacers for one, the self-leveling spacers. So if you got to put a little bit more thin set to compensate better, like more is better than less. <laughs> yeah. One more thing I wanted to address when you cut tile, um, if you, if you haven't um, used a grinder before in your life, you're going to be terrified to use a grinder, especially if you see videos of, of, uh, yeah, just unsafe using of a grinder. It's not that hard. It's like two nuts and you just, it's just simple. You just got to get over your fear. So I had fear, you know, and then I was like, I need to get a wet saw. I need to get, you know, I mean, I've got every tool for this job <laughs> and the one that I'm using the least is that. I'm not even using, I tried to use it a couple times. It split this. Now look, it cracked it. Cracked the glaze off of it. And I'm like, that's for big tile, obviously, too. But I can't make any sliver cuts. Not that I want to, but I'm just saying, like, I'm going to have to make some trim cuts, probably around the shower niche. So it's, it's good to be well-versed in something. Or just not be afraid. If you know you put it on right, and you spun it, and you're like, okay, make some practice cuts. That's what I did. And I realized it's as smooth as butter. If you get a continuous rim blade, so what you need, if you're working with ceramic, I'm working with ceramic. I don't know about other tiles. I imagine it would be okay, but ceramic, you want to use a continuous rim um, blade. And I, it literally cuts like butter. And you got to go through it like a few times, but it's, it feels so nice when you do it. And you get these really good cuts. So the, the next thing I'm going to have to learn with a grinder is um, is how to do the angles. I, want, I need to do 45s to get into the shower niche. I mean, I am going to have a profile, but I want to practice anyway. And I also have to make the 45 degree cuts on the shooter. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to use the freaking Diablo 10 inch, like, I'm, you know... <laughs> It really just didn't work out. And I know I have the right blade, what this guy said, the tile coach. He was like, get the 10 inch Diablo. And I'm like, all right, tile coach. And it just didn't work out for me. So maybe it was a different type of metal. Maybe this one's really brass. Could be. So anyway, um, but a hacksaw, a hacksaw. I used this one that you can't really see a little bit. I, I just used a hacksaw, but I had the blade, I put it on, I figured it'd be fast, right? Mm, and it just didn't work out real. Well, it came out just really a lot of burrs, and maybe I did it too slow. I don't know. I'm just trying to say, take your time, build up your confidence, and when you can't build it up, you just have to go for it. It's like learning how to swim. Like, you're going to get pushed into the deep end, <laughs> like I did when I was a kid. Because I was like, I'm not going in the deep end. It was like, you gotta go. Sometimes you just, you gotta be pushed. You gotta push yourself. You gotta know how to do that. And so you can have your dreams come true. And there's nothing more rewarding than that. So keep that in mind, you guys. That's all. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you got something out of this. If you have any tips for me, let me know. And uh, if you got something out of it, let me know. And until the next time I see you. Probably next week when the temperature gets a little hotter. Um, take care and good luck with your projects and be safe.